hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so i am finally home from tenerife um you'll have seen in my last vlog um basically i went on a press trip with jet 2 to lanzarote which was absolutely amazing mm -hmm. and um then afterwards i was like well i'm already out here may as well make the most of it uh so me and alex decided to have a long weekend in tenerife um, so I literally like left the girls in Lanzarote, said goodbye, um, and then hopped on a plane over to Tenerife. But I feel like a Tenerife must be cursed or something because Alex had some issues coming out like with his flight and everything. And then when I went out there, so it was literally like a 50 minute flight, like it should have been really straightforward. They had issues with the weight on the plane and I had a heavy case. So clearly they were like, well, one of that case is like the equivalent of two anyway my case got taken off the plane i think there was about six of the people whose cases were also taken off and they were put on the next flight without telling us without any warning or anything like that um this wasn't with jet by the way this was like a random canary island because it was obviously like domestic flights around the canaries so they're called like binta canarius or something like that um so obviously it's like not a reflection on jet at all um, they were absolutely great with our flights but they yeah so they took my case off um didn't tell me they put it on the next flight and so i got in to tenerife at like four and my case wasn't going to get there until the next day um and they wanted me to come back and get it as well which would have been fine if i'd gone to the south airport which was like around where we were staying but where the villa was was like an hour away in like a, an 80 euro taxi like i had to get the bus because the taxi was like, I'm not paying 80 euros for a taxi. Um, so when they were like, yeah, can you come back? I honestly was like, are you are you actually kidding me? I was ready to hit someone. But yeah, so I was obviously like, no, I can't come back. Um, you need to send it to me. So they had to like arrange to get the case sent to me, which was a bit of a stress. And they promised it was in the, it would come in the morning and it didn't come till like two o'clock the next day. So I was pretty much 24 hours without my suitcase. And thank God I always keep like, my really valuable stuff on me so like laptop or my camera equipment and everything like that i always keep that in my cabin bag um so it's just like but it was just clothes makeup shampoo like i couldn't have a proper shower or anything like that it was such a nightmare and then our flight coming back they had all the issues with storm is it cara i can't remember the big storm basically that was going on in the uk um we flew on the Monday, so the, the worst day for it was Sunday, so thank God we weren't flying on Sunday because literally no planes were taking off. We arrived at the airport about 12, and they were calling flights that we should have taken off yesterday. Um, so we arrived, and well, we'd been told our flight would be delayed, so we were like, okay, we won't get to the airport till later. And then I got a text being like, oh, but bag drop and check-in is still at the same time. So I was like, you're kidding me. So even though they knew our plane wasn't there or anything like that, we still had to come as if we were getting on the plane at normal time so we basically arrived at the airport knowing full well that we'd have like a good four hour wait so we arrived at the airport um at i think half 11 and we didn't take off until five which we were supposed to take off about one so the worst part is is that it's a four hour flight so when we actually did take off is when we should have been landing in the uk which was a bit depressing um but yeah that was also horrendous like there was just so many issues we were going to take off at half four and then we missed our takeoff slot so we had to wait another 40 minutes to take off um the flight was fine but then when we arrived into heathrow because of all the air traffic and everything like that like everyone's playing catch up we literally we couldn't land like we had to hover around for 40 minutes just circling the uk um or circling heathrow sorry and i get really travel sick in a car I've never been travel sick in a plane before until yesterday. Like, you're literally, I'm not even joking, it's just a circle. Like, I've never had to do that before. And I was sitting there like, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to be sick. Please just, please just land the plane. Um, so, yeah, we eventually got down and landed and everything. And got home about six hours after we were supposed to. So, that was a tough day. So, I gave myself a line this morning. Um, and it's basically just a day of sorting out the flat. Like, this flat is a bit of a tip now. I've come back to so many parcels, like the suitcases all needed emptying, my dressing room's in absolute state at the moment, like I'm actually really scared to like pan the camera around because my dressing room is just such a state. I'll show you. Like, so 
this needs to become collected. This was from, oh, I put some new prints up. So they're looking cute. Um, and then, so many clothes. That's Alex's bag there and some shoes. Yeah, it's just not good. So this, actually, this box, funny story. So I did a collaboration with Made.com for this dressing table right here. Um, and it came in two boxes, but they accidentally sent me two of one box. So one of the boxes had like this bit and the mirror, and then the other box had the legs attached, and they sent me two boxes of the table and the mirror. So I've had to like get in contact with Made Support and be like, hi, do you want to come and um, get your box? So that is waiting to be picked up basically. I think sometime next week they're going to organise that for. Um, and then also the other side of me. <laughs> this is our old sofa. So you guys know that like literally the start of January bought a new sofa. Um, and we put this up for sale. But the issue is that like you need a van to come and collect it. You can't. It's not like a modular sofa where you can dismantle. Um, and we had a lot of interest but basically people have been like we just can't afford the van. Um, so we thought, do you know what, give it to a good cause, um, it's a good sofa, it's literally about six months old, so we've contacted the British Heart Foundation and they're coming to collect, the earliest they could collect it was the 24th of Feb, so that's still quite a way away, um, but that's the only time they can collect it, so I'm like, that's fine. So yeah, literally everything is just looking in absolute state at the minute, I've, um, been unpacking the bags, I've already put a wash on done a food shop I think can we just appreciate is it not the most satisfying thing when you come back and you've had an empty fridge so you like deep I deep cleaned the fridge this morning which I think is always a really satisfying thing and then I don't think our fridge has ever been this full this makes me so so happy to see <laughs> am I really sad but yeah, so we've had a wash on, drying clothes already, next wash has gone on already, um, and it's just kind of a case of sorting out my life today. And also, it's really cold. Like, I know I was expecting it to be cold, but oh my god, it is freezing. I'm so not okay with this. I want to go back to the sun. We don't have to meet at the bar getting drinks. We don't have to So well, that is looking so much better now. Obviously, we've still got the box in the corner and we still have the sofa on its end. Um, but I like to have a nice clean bed and my little chest of drawers is looking good. Um, I'm literally just in my comfies today. Please excuse the fact that I'm wearing like the baggiest trackies in the world. Um, but if you do want to shut this outfit, this is the most comfortable bodysuit I've ever, ever owned. I will link it in the description. Um, and then these trackers, I think I'm misguided, I'll also link those. I really like this. Comfy, but I feel like I look somewhat presentable. Maybe not. <laughs> so I have come back to a few parcels. Um, these are just like all PR things. Some of which I know what they are, some of which I'm not sure. Um, so I just thought that we could open them together. I had a pair of scissors. Where did I put the scissors? Okay, so these boxes, I believe, are from Revolve. Um, I don't know why, but they always seem to send their clothes in like these little boxes, which is a bit odd for clothes. I really shouldn't be waving scissors around, should I? I am being careful, don't worry. She says, as she really stabs herself. Yeah. Okay, I've been really excited about this top. So I work with Revolve. Um, pretty much monthly. Uh, it's like all gifted. Um, it's not paid for. So they have like no say over what I say or anything like that. It's just um, I work with them on kind of more like a ambassadorship scheme. So um, each month I get a voucher and then I can go onto their website and just decide what pieces I like and what I want to style up. So this is something that I chose which looks really nothing in person um but i really liked how it looked online it's just this little top it's a bit bigger than i was expecting actually um i'm hoping that that's still gonna look good maybe i should have gone for a small let's put it on see what it looks like okay so it does need a little bit of an iron and obviously ignore the fact that i am literally just shoved it on over my top but basically it's one of these kinds of like corset shaper things where it's not actually corset like it's stretchy 
but I have seen these online before and I just think they're really flattering. So I think I just need to give it a bit of an eye and it'll look really, really cute. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks really nice. Okay. Next we have another little top. Um, and this is just a really cute little strappy number. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is going to look like on. This is really hard to show. Uh, it's like one where it's got lots of like little details and straps. Um, obviously like spaghetti straps. And I thought this would be a perfect like jeans and a nice top kind of top. I think that is cute. What is this? I have literally just tidied this room and now it's going to be full of boxes and plastic again. This is the way it works. Oh uh, yes, this is cute. This is, again, it looks like nothing on. I feel like a lot of Revolve things look like nothing when you just hold them up, but once you put them on, they look really cute. So this is a stunning backless dress um, that I really wanted to get in for Paris, uh, but it was sold out in my size and I was absolutely gutted. Um, but I still think it's gonna look really cute. This with like a, just a pair of strappy heels running through London, I can see it. I think this is a perfect like evening dress. Very, very cute. Now this parcel, Coco Brown, Coco Brown Tan, oh yeah, I remember the email. So we've been sent some things from Coco Brown, which is a tan by Marissa Carter. So there are two new vegan products launched. There's the Perfect Self Tan Oil and Body Makeup. I'm guessing the body makeup is kind of like how you put it on and it's just a wash off that night. Yeah, this looks very much like the um, Sally Hansen, you know, the one that you kind of just spray it on and rub it in, and then that night you wash it off. Um, and then this is more of like a actual self tanner. So they look really good. I'm excited to try them and a tanning mitt. I feel like I go through tanning mitts so quickly, you can never have too many. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to get open into this. I'm just gonna have to cut it. Oh my god. I know who this is from as well. And Leah, if you're watching, you rap like my grandma. <laughs> oh, this is cute. It's very nice. This is from Peacocks. Um, and it's this stunning little floral dress. Oh, that's gonna be so cute for spring. What size should she send it? Yeah, perf. Oh, I really like that. That is very nice. So yeah, those are just a few things that I um, was sent whilst I was away. So now it's time to clean up again. <laughs> the life of a blogger. It's just opening things and then cleaning up. I wanted to have a little chat about skin. Um, I'm really sorry if you can hear the washing machine on in the background, but I just, I have to get all this washing done. I've been away for like over a week, so it's piled up. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys basically, um, because mainly because I'm really annoyed at myself, um, because I have basically been lazy and it's really affected my skin, which essentially in turn affects my mindset, affects how I feel about myself, it affects my mental health, um, and it's all something that could have been avoided. So if you follow me on Instagram, follow my stories and everything, you would have seen me speak a little while back about um, basically just the bad skin that I've been having. I got to the point where I basically had acne and as someone who never had acne as like a teenager or anything, it was a bit of like a shock um, because like I don't think I even realized it was acne. I basically just had lots of like spots, some of them wouldn't come to head, like there was the scarring was the worst thing every time that I had a spot it would just scar for weeks on end. Um, so went to the doctors and was prescribed two months worth of antibiotics. Um, and for a solid month, I felt like they weren't doing anything. And then I feel like in the last two weeks, it was like, it just clicked and my skin just cleared up amazingly. And I thought this is fab, great, it's clear. Um, and what I should have done is gone straight back to the doctors and said, look, it's been working. I don't wanna just stop it now. I want to carry on with the antibiotics to make sure that they really, really have worked. I didn't do that. 
I just left it and thought, oh well, my skin's like much better now, we're good. And I have now been three weeks without the antibiotics and my skin has almost gone back to day one. Like, I know I have makeup on at the moment and you guys are probably thinking, oh, your skin looks fine. Um, but I have like a massive one here, a lot of texture around here. Um, it's basically just like my nose down where I get the acne. Um, it's really weird, like I don't get it the top half of my face, it's literally just down here. Um, which is why I also thought that, like, which is why I also went for so long not realising it was acne because I kind of just put it down to like stress spots or like hormones or anything like that. Um, and I also thought that acne had to be like over your whole face or your back or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so basically my skin has gone back to being horrendous. Maybe not horrendous, um, but to have had such good skin for like a solid two, three weeks to go back to this, it's just really, really frustrating. And I felt like I've taken like four steps back. Um, and I just kind of wanted to chat about it because I feel like the amount of times you see these YouTubers and bloggers and people on Instagram who look like they have the most amazing skin, like commenting on my Instagram all the time saying things like your skin is flawless, you look so perfect, your skin is amazing, wish I had your skin. Um, and I don't edit any of my photos like in a sense of airbrushing or anything like that. Like if I have a spot on a photo, I have a spot on a photo. Um, but at the end of the day I wear makeup and I do put up the best versions of myself, like on Instagram a lot. Um, you know, if there's like a photo of me with a double chin, I might be like, oh, let's not put that one up. You know, let's put a photo of me looking a bit better up. So I just like, the main thing I just want to say is just remember that Instagram is a highlight reel and behind every single seemingly perfect photo is probably a very, very imperfect circumstance, whether that's imperfect skin that they've covered up with makeup, whether they're not feeling great but they put a smile on for the camera you know they might have been having a really difficult time but they wanted it to look like they're happy and smiling and um yeah i just think don't ever compare your behind the scenes with someone's highlight reel that's something that I always try and remind myself whenever i see things on instagram i think it looks perfect and think you know oh she's doing this and i'm not and she's got that and i haven't got that that's their highlight reel and your behind the scenes and their behind the scenes might even be so similar but you're looking at the best version that they choose to put out. I feel like this is just a bit of a, <laughs> a weird ranty little moment. Um, but yeah, I think sometimes it's important to show you guys not everything's perfect. I have my down moments. I've also had to scrub off all of my fake tans, so I'm so pale at the moment. I feel like a bit self-conscious about how pale I am. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really crossing myself because it's something that I could have avoided and I could have like knocked this bad skin on the head completely and I haven't because of my own stupid fault so yeah I'm managing to like get a doctor's appointment and hopefully we'll get the um prescription soon but I'm just so cross with myself on a more positive note I have pretty much unpacked like everything back into my wardrobe I just have like a few pieces to put away um but yeah I'm very, very happy. I, I'm that person that as soon as I get back from holiday, case open, unpacked, I cannot leave it in the hallway for like three weeks. That is not me. So the fact that I've unpacked and that I've done two loads of washing already, I'm happy bunny. Not to be dramatic or anything, but literally the worst part about being a blogger is just how many boxes that you have to take down and how many trips you have to do to the bin. I'm so glad that in this new flat we have like big recycling boxes because in my old one you couldn't recycle boxes like this size, like you had to pack it down into tiny little things. So let's go do a bin run shall we? Currently having my mid-afternoon snack. I don't know if anyone else gets it so like three o'clock you just need something like just something small. Um, but to any of my gluten-free girls out there looking for a good mid-afternoon snack, these chocolate fingers, they're by Sha. Um, I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it. It's how I've always said it, but you can get them in almost every country, which is what I love about this brand because I see it in like French supermarkets, Norwegian supermarkets. It was in Lanzarote. Um, so these are fab if you want like an afternoon pick-me-up. So I've just got that and my tea. 
So tomorrow I've got a shoot in London um, that I need to pack for, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling so uninspired at the moment. I think it's coming back off like a trip. I felt the same after Paris when I came back. I was just like, <laughs> I don't wanna shoot in London. Um, but we've, we've got a crack on basically. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack up my case for London now and try and pull some outfits together for this shoot. I'm so sorry, I got completely sidetracked whilst I was um, doing that. Uh, it's now got dark. <laughs> Um, so I am currently in the process of planning outfits um, and I might do like a video on behind the scenes of a shoot, how I prep for shoots, how I plan for them, what goes on at a shoot, how I edit my videos, um, sorry, how I edit my photos. So if that's something you'd like to see then please do let me know, um, I'd be really really interested to see if that's what you guys would like. Um, I think it's quite cool because sometimes I think you kind of forget like what it's actually like and like how much prep work and stuff is involved um so it might be quite cool just to see that um but yeah so i'm just gonna finish packing up my case for tomorrow and um get on with shooting basically i'm feeling a bit more inspired now that i have been like planning and everything like that so yeah i'm looking forward to it a lot more and i'm really looking forward to seeing katie and holly because i've not seen them in like over a week which for us is a long time like I don't feel whole if I don't see those girls um so yeah I'm gonna sign off this vlog I'm sorry if it was a bit of a boring one it was kind of just a uh, sorting out my life getting everything organized getting back into the swing of adulting so I do hope you enjoyed the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did um and please do subscribe because I get so so excited when I see a new subscriber every single time I'm like oh my god you guys actually want to watch me um so yeah I really really love it when you guys are like commenting and let me know that you love my videos it makes me so happy um so I will see you in the next one bye